Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 52 of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Alright, so, like I told you in the last episode, I'm out here on this island that you have to take the boat to get to. Yeah, that boat over there that's just... I don't know, I guess it has a brain or something, so it knows where to, exactly where to go. GPS, maybe. And it is a little bit past 7 here, quarter past 7. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this minigame here. You're gonna need at least 20 rupees for this, and I recommend more because you might fail at it. Oh, you're up for it! Now then, I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully! I'm going to- yeah, he explains the rules, basically. Basically, just jump to the island with the lit torch, and you have to do that about 20 times, or exactly 20 times, and you win. Oh, and also, if you fall in the water, it's an instant game over, and you have to start again. So, well, it's not an instant game over, it's not like if you lose this game, then the moon just crashes. Because, you know, that would make all the sense in the world. It's like, oh, you're not good enough for jumping puzzles, crash. Okay. Yeah. The one thing that annoys me most about... Damn it, I missed it. Yeah, the one thing that annoys me the most about this minigame is that... It's the freaking camera, because, like... No matter what, you're all, there's always going to be one torch that you can't see in your camera vision. Because whatever, the Lakitu following you around is retarded or something. Wait, Lakitu doesn't follow you in this game. I'm thinking of Mar Mario 64. <laughs> Lack of two in a Zelda game. That would just be ridiculous. But yeah, like, you have to, like, check these three torches that you can actually see in your camera. And by the time you do, you've done that, there's, like, very little time to actually hop to the one that's down here that you know it is lit because the other three aren't lit. I don't know, it's all very time consuming, and more often than not, you can actually miss that bottom one down there because you can't see it. Alright. Or not because you can't see it, more like because it takes so long to see the other ones. Oh, I forgot to turn the volume on my phone off. Well, it's only like 4 a.m., so I don't expect my phone to be beeping too much. I'm actually kind of surprised they'd beep right now. Oh, crap, I'm up, to, I'm up past 20. Yeah, once you get up to around 20 points, I recommend you just stop, because you really don't want to risk falling in the water after 20 points. That'll just piss you off so much. It'll especially piss me off right now, because I'm tired as shit. But I gotta record this video. Because this... I don't know. I just need a video for tomorrow, I guess. Or today, rather. Mm. Okay. And we are done. Alright, that's it! Yeah, Link just yawned there. He's like, Oh yeah, that's it. Old news, man. Uh-oh, that was a little too easy. Oh well, here's your prize. And we get another heart piece. Thereby filling up a new heart container putting our life at at 15 75% new ending unlocked surprise ending unlocked the one where Ridley just tells you you got 75% complete good job alright no don't damn it I don't want to play again why would anyone play this more than once I have no idea alright so those are all the hard pieces that I want to get like in the areas that we can actually access, well, the areas that we have access, there's more in the Iconic Canyon area that I'll want to get, but for now, that's all I really need to get. So, there's just actually only one more thing that I want to do uh, bleh, in this recording, and that is get one more mask that is actually a lot more tedious than you would think it to be. It's like, oh, getting one mask, how hard can that be? It can be pretty fucking hard, I can guarantee you that. Alright, so we're heading to this area for no particular reason. Oh, I also wanted to show off the Mask of Sense, but... Because I actually haven't shown that off, even though I got it 30 plus episodes ago. I'll show that off eventually, don't worry. <laughs> I'll be, like, about to go fight the final boss, and it's like, Okay, guys, time to show off the Mask of Sense now. Oh my god, lag. Epic lag. Alright. So we need to work our way out of this particular area here, because the mask is not in this area, it is around out here. Uh, oh, I actually might be able to get another, yeah, I'll probably go for another heart piece after I get this mask, because this mask make, makes getting one more heart piece a lot easier. Alright. Why did I even show that trip at all? I don't know. Whatever. But you're going to need to actually head over here. 
And I'll probably just leave this trip in because uh, all my timers are running low on batteries. But because a lot of you or a any of you actually haven't played the game, I'll have no idea where I'm going if I were to just cut to there. But basically, you just need to head down to this area over here where there is, as you might have seen, like a long time ago when I was going to like Woodfall Temple or whatever, there's a kind of house here. Fearful Spider House, dead ahead. Yeah, they just have to put the word dead in there just to make you feel like, hey, yeah. In case you didn't realize that spiders are scary. Okay, what's this guy doing? Get the hell out of here. I don't need to deal with your shit. Come on. Just die. Thank you. Oh, that was really stupid. Okay. So, to open this up, you're gonna need either Dagu Stick or Fire Arrow. I can do either, so I'm just gonna go the more, the more wasteful method. Alright, ooh, a heart. <laughs> yep, re replenish my quarter heart, please. Alright, so in here, this is the Swamp Spider House. We have a random dog. I'll just throw you out there. Okay. And, uh, we have a door over there, so let's check that out. Oh my god, what the hell? What are you doing? Ugh, help me, I'm not a monster. The spider's curse, it made me this way. I beg of you, in here, find them all. The gold ones, the cursed spiders, defeat them. Quickly, you got enough ellipses in there, guy? That's like one sentence. And when they defeat them, don't forget, the spider token, it contains the spider's spirit. If you lift the curse, I'll teach you something good. Hurry, please, this is awful. Alright, and this is kind of an homage, I guess, is what you could call it, to the, um... 100 gold skeletons in Ocarina of Time. I'm sure you all remember that. One of those fun times. But there's actually only 30 in this house. 30 gold skeletons. But you still gotta collect them if you want this mask. Or else I'm just dumping all these fish. Because you're actually going to need some bugs in a bottle. In order to get all the skeletons in here. And you can find some bugs under this rock. I'm pretty sure. Yep. There you go. Get over here. Stupid. <laughs> I'm kind of scared that I'm just going to like randomly pick up one of the fish instead of the bugs. But I think I'm in the clear. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, I missed. Alright. Well, we'll just asexually reproduce these like we always do. Uh, bring back the good old memories. Okay, get over here. Get over here. Thank you. Alright, come on. There we go. I'm surprised I actually got that one. I didn't even see it. Ah, uh, that should be enough bugs. Alright, and we'll get out our hook shot, I guess. Um, what else will we need? I think we need our Deku mask. And we'll need our Ocarina at one point. Yes, I actually have done a little bit of research into this, but it's not like I have a guide right in front of me, so I don't know the exact locations of all of them. So you might still see me run into some failure here, but not too much, hopefully. Alright, so let's get to hunting. And these things can be in the most obtuse locations ever, like that one right there, in a pot. Okay, um... Alright, and I'll show this off, I guess, uh... Because this is what you need the bugs for. Because there's these random soft soil patches on the wall. I don't get how that works. Wouldn't gravity pull the freaking soil down? Oh, whatever, just don't question it. <laughs> and you're going to want to put the bugs here. And they just magically know to go up there. They're like, oh, hey, you want a gold skeleton? Sure thing, buddy. And they all just climb up in there. Oh, one straggler behind, of course. And when you do that, you get that gold skeleton. Alright, there's a few, or maybe just, like, even one more like that. No, there's, like, two more at least like that, I think. Ah, uh, crap. And, um, it's not every, skull, like, soft soil patch in the house, in this house has that has a gold sculpture in it. Only the ones on the walls do. There's some that are just on the floor. They're kind of decoys there to trick you. You don't actually need to put anything in those ones. You really just need to do the ones on the walls. The other ones will have like rupees and stuff if you put bugs in them somehow. I don't know. Hmm. I guess the rupees get scared by the bugs and they're just like, they just want to fly out and be safe with me. Who will yell at them for being a blue rupee? Grr. Alright, and, uh, why did I have another bug out? I don't know. Alright, let's take, oh, there's one. Sweet. No, nope. hit it. Yeah, another annoying thing about these gold sculptures is that unlike the ones in Ocarina of Time, some of them actually move, as you've been seeing. 
That can get a little bit annoying. It's not too bad, though. Oh, dude. Just a random sleeping Deku Scrub here. And he's sleeping with his eyes open, too. He's like, I'm watching you. Alright, let's check it. What's with the Deku Scrub? It's just sleeping there like a lazy fool. What a pa- Wait, what a pun. Yeah. But since you probably saw that the word sleeping there was exaggerated, you're gonna need to do something to, and may I say, awaken it. Yep. Still making you use like pretty much every song. That's kind of why I li like one of the other reasons I like this game is that they actually don't forget about previous items and songs and stuff. They still make you use them. Okay, even if they don't use them too often. All right, this guy's just going crazy. What's he doing? He's like, gotta look for more gold scotchless. And he's actually leading us towards one, kind of. Because there's one back here. Never forgot about this one. This is like the last one I found on my first run of this house. And it was kind of annoying, actually. Hmm. It shouldn't have been. It's actually pretty obvious to, like, look at. Oh, there's one. I don't know, I guess I was just not being observant enough. But you gotta be pretty observ observant in these games. And in pretty much every game. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there we go. I knew there was one in that pot. I don't know why I did, but I just knew. Alright. And I think there's one in this pot, too. Yep. Showing off. We're just picking these up like butterflies. If that makes any sense to anyone, you're crazy. Okay. Um, what am I doing? I don't even need anything. Okay. Yeah, there's these things up here. I forget which ones exactly have sculptures in them, so... Oh, crap. I unleashed the one with the wasps in them. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, my... <laughs> a bouncy spider. That's funny. It's like one of those rubber spiders that you get in, like, a loot bag from some kid's birthday party. Ah, crap. Get out of here. Get out of here. You asshole. Did I actually get the official name of these things ever? Oh yeah, I did. Giant bee. I remember now. I remember now! Jeez. Alright, come on. Rupee, or was that magic? I couldn't really tell, and I particularly don't care, frankly. Alright. Come on. I know at least one more of these has it. Yup, there we go. Let's see if we can slash it while it's bouncing. Oh, I'm... I didn't get it. Dude! Even while sitting still there, you just can't get it. It's like, ugh, so hard. Depth perception off. At knee height. Unable to hit. Oh, wait, I hit it. Never mind. Okay. So we'll just launch way up here, unnecessarily high. And now we can uh, get this guy who's crawling along the wall here. Where are you going? I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, really, I am, but I just need you to stop so that... You think I won't. Alright, uh, there's more bugs under here, I think, if you need them. I don't think I do, so I'll just skip on that. Okay, and this activates a ladder <laughs> on top or underneath that sculpture, apparently. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, it's like the camera's trying to be nice to you. It's like, yeah, there's a ladder here. Oh, and by the way, there's a sculpture, too. Alright, and is the itch's mirror, is that the Spider-Man symbol? That is totally the Spider-Man symbol. I'd not even... Don't even question me on that. It's, it's the Spider-Man symbol. It's just golden. That's it. Alright, well... We're up to 13... Oh, 14 minutes here. So I think I'm going to end this episode off here. We'll finish this spider house. I'll, yeah, show off your moves, Link. Show me moves. Yeah, we'll just end off this episode here. And we'll collect the remaining uh, 17 tokens in the next episode. So, thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.